Today, I'm looking kind of bummy right now. But yeah, so today we're gonna be doing my first ever pants review, specifically like skate pants, I guess you would call them. First, I'm gonna skate them and then we're gonna like kind of like analyze them in terms of like how they feel while I'm skating them. When I first started making YouTube videos, my style was like basically just this. I would come out in whatever I wanted to, straight basketball shorts. And as my skills have developed, my style also has developed too. And I feel like that's how it should be. I don't think you should rush into any specific style but you can do whatever you want for real, for real. that's just me but yeah this is my first ever pants review so definitely let me know if you guys like it they only had medium and a size 32 and I did try them on beforehand they did fit pretty well but I didn't have like my skate shoes on or anything like that so and then we had the corduroy pants <laughs> Um, same size, they didn't have a small or anything like that, so I just got the medium, loose fit. I didn't take any of the tags off. Yeah, we'll see how they skate. I'm about 5'10", my waist is about like 31, 31, 32. So I guess this is a good fit for like my waist, but in terms of length, I feel like they might be just a little big. I suppose to have a, like a, a big kind of fit to it anyway. Let's go with the denim first, and then we can try on the corduroys. This is what they look like, how step in the sun. For you guys they actually fit a little better lengthwise than i thought they do have a loose fit cosmo came in clutch with the shoelace so i got something to hold my pants up but yeah they feel a lot better now that they're actually being supported by a belt so there's the front side and um the back I think they look pretty cool. The pockets are really short. They aren't deep at all. It's not like you're gonna be skating with your phone in your pocket or anything like that, but I would still prefer to have deeper pockets. The back pockets are a little deeper and the, the material isn't that stretchy, but they do flex just a little. So yeah, I guess that's like all you need to know for right now. I guess we'll just start with some really basic stuff and then elevate from there. Like they feel pretty good like already, but we'll see. Like them they, they feel pretty good feels like normal pants but it's a little looser i definitely think they're gonna last a while too i'm not much of a transition skater but let's roll around a little bit more That's my version of like a mini front side air. I have enough space, I have enough leg room. I don't feel like they're squeezing my thighs when I squat or do anything really intense. All right, so let's actually get into some flip tricks. Let's try a kick flip, hill flip up the bank right here. And then we'll try some just regular flat ground tricks, some harder ones. All right, kick flip now. Nollie flip? I guess I'll just do straight eight. I might have a couple fails in between, but we'll see. Hopefully everything is first try. Technically I already did heel flip, kick flip, but I'll redo it just for the sake of the straight eight. Restart. This nollie flip better be first try. Let me go up there for switch. Actually, no, I'll do it right here. All right, moving on to the hill flips. Hopefully everything is first try.
I'm just gonna say it right now. I might F up this hill flip, this Nolly Hill. I suck at Nolly Hills. Oh, oh. all right. Please let me land this switch hill. Let's go. Another kickflip to celebrate. All right, got the straight eight. They're feeling pretty good with the flat ground tricks. Initially, when I first got them, I thought the pants would kind of drag, especially when I was doing like flat ground tricks in general. It doesn't really look like they're dragging. It doesn't feel like they're dragging. And it also doesn't feel like I'm stepping on the, the edge of the pants either. If I did feel that way, I would just cuff them. Let me actually show you guys what they look like cuff. This is with just one cuff. And then this is with like two small cuffs. I'm not like a big fan of cuffing my pants, but dude, they look so weird. I mean, I know it is a style, but at the same time, I just, that's just not my style. Let me uncuff these. They look a lot better now to me. All right, now let's try some harder stuff, some harder flat ground stuff. I'm just gonna randomize these tricks for real, for real. Let's try a uh, Nolly Varial flip. Switch varial flip. Try Nolly varial hill. <laughs> One thing I am noticing about these pants is they do feel just a little heavy. Err as you begin to sweat in them. But it's not like it's bothering me to the point to where I don't want to skate flat ground anymore. Over-rotated Nolly tray. All right, let's just do one more. I'm thinking Nolly Inward Hill. Dude, that was first try. They are feeling pretty good. Still feel super loose and comfortable. I do like the style. Hopefully they don't like fade like the black doesn't fade but yeah overall really nice fit don't feel too like heavy or anything i do wish the pockets were just a little deeper and it looks like the stitching is pretty solid too can we actually get a close-up of that like it feels really solid and just strong overall let's try to get some lines with them and then we'll head to skating the corduroys <laughs> front board on it and then try lip slide coming up on the bump to row. All right, so front 50-50 down a row and then lip slide on the bump to row coming up, but this time I'll come out to fakey. I feel like I have to skate hand rows for like every YouTube video because I just, I feel like you guys like seeing it and I just also like doing it. So sometimes I do force myself to do it though, but it's all fun. <sighs> Hill side lock in. Unintentionally, I got a cross lock on mine. I do feel like I have to like pull my pants up before trying the trick. They they feel a lot better that way, especially when skating something like hand rows. How's the steez on that one? Five out of five? 10 out of 10? <laughs> he said perfect. All right, I'll do another board slide and then this time I'll come down on the hubba this time and try front smith, even though it's not wax. We'll see if it slides. I'm gonna try to like really push through. Hold on, hold on, fuck that. It definitely needs wax. It didn't slide at all. I forgot to bring my wax, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to retry that. God dang. <laughs> 
All right, let me just try a couple tricks up the Euro and then we could probably just switch to the other pants. <laughs> This is just a bonus trick. <sighs> I should not have tried that one. I really need some wax. The sun is beaming on it. I think that's like it for these pants. They do feel like regular just jeans, but at the same time, they do have a looser fit. I'm really glad it feels like it's not gonna like, I'm not gonna be stepping on them too much. Hopefully the color doesn't fade as I begin to wash them and everything. I did hear that once you put them in the wash, they do kind of have a little tighter fit, just slightly, but we'll see. I can definitely make an updated video for right now. Let's go and try the other pants on. But there's always, oh my gosh, every time I touch it, it's like, Maybe I shouldn't mess with it. I want to like pick it up and throw it in the grass. All right, there we go. It's in a safer place now. I did want to show you guys before I put them on just the key differences. Obviously the pattern is different from the denim. It seems like the material was a little different too. Also, I did stick my hand in these pockets and they are like twice as deep as these. But yeah, those are just the main things. Also, I do feel like they might fit a little better just lengthwise. There will be less drag and less catch at the bottom where my shoes are. But for right now, we're putting these on, trying a couple flat tricks and then get to some other things. All right, so when I first put these on, they definitely feel like the type of pants I could just fall asleep in. They feel really comfortable. They have a lot less drag to them than the denim, obviously because they're jeans, but with these, they feel a lot more just looser. The only thing is I'm not a big fan of like the corduroy pattern. Also, I did want to point out these pants actually come with something to pull your pants up. And as you guys already know, the pants pockets are a lot deeper too than the other pants. But yeah, still got the emblem on here, um, on here too. Back pockets too. They're not as deep as the front pockets, but the front pockets are really deep. So I really like that. I could see why these might be a little popular than the other style, just because they feel a lot more comfortable and they actually are a lot more comfortable. Yeah, let's actually get some tricks in. All right, let's try Bat 5050, Bat 180 up. Try back 50 back shove. I do feel like I have a lot more knee space. That's just knee space and just like leg room in general. I feel a lot more looser and they don't stretch as much as the denim jeans either. What do you guys think? How do they look on me? <laughs> Front board up, back 50-50 shove right here. I'm calling it. can't lie like the steez on that one was like phenomenal like it felt phenomenal the pants influence you in a way they make you want to just steez out your tricks that was pretty fun i really do like the way they feel i prefer these already over the ones i was just skating they definitely have a looser fit feel more comfortable overall i just they just like i don't like to think about my clothes as i'm wearing them or like how they feel they feel really smooth smooth enough to the point to where i only want to try like manual tricks right now so let's try a couple manual combos <laughs> I gotta warm up to that one. Second try, clean it up. Just try it one more. Yeah, I just hit my toe really hard on that one. Just give me like one minute. I 
feel like Bev up because he always wears these huge loose pants. It happened so fast, I don't even know like what exactly happened. All I know is it bounced a little. I guess that was cool. I, I saw that coming from the corner of my eye, but I forgot to, my bad. I don't know what just happened. That was my fault. <laughs> I said the sweat kind of made the other pants a little heavier, but with these, they feel almost exactly the same. That took forever, I don't know why, but it was definitely a lot easier than the kickflip manual, so definitely stoked about that. Now let's just try a couple nose manual kickflips. Now let's just try a couple nose manual combos. That was first try. Try 180 out of this one. I'll take that one. Now I'll try some regular manual combos. Of course I'll run into something. I also like the color too. They look a little bit more black in real life. I don't know how they seem to look on camera, but they look a little bit more black and I feel like that helps mainly just because the more I put them in the wash machine, I know the black dye might fade a little bit more. So yeah, it definitely helps. It almost looks like an even blacker color than a black shirt if you try to compare it. Yeah, I just, I really like these a lot more than the other ones. So I'm gonna keep these on and we'll hit a couple street spots. So yeah, let's hit the streets.